Exploring Fractions In the previous classes, we have read about fractions. Here let us revise briefly what we have read and extend further the knowledge of fractions. Here, the circle has been divided into five equal parts and one part is shaded. The shaded part represents one-fifth of the circle. We write it as one upon five. Do you know what part of the circle is unshaded? Since out of the six equal parts, five parts are unshaded, so we call the unshaded part represents five-sixths. It is written as 5 upon 6. In 1 upon 6, 1 is called the numerator and 6 is called the denominator of the fraction 1 upon 6. Similarly, in 5 upon 6, 5 is the numerator and 6 is the denominator. Thus, the number of equal parts into which the whole has been divided represents the denominator. Out of these equal parts, the number of parts taken or considered shows the numerator. Draw a circle and divide it into two equal parts. Clearly, each part represents 1 upon 2. So, two halves make a whole. Now, draw a circle and divide it into three equal parts. Each part is one third, that is 1 upon 3. Clearly, three one thirds make a whole. Now again draw a circle and divide it into four equal parts. Each part is one fourth, that is one upon four. We see here that four fourths make one whole. Now observe these circles. Here the circles have been divided into two, four, 6, 8 and 10 equal parts. The shaded portion of these circles show half, 2 upon 4, 3 upon 6, 4 upon 8 and 5 upon 10 respectively. Do you observe any similarity among the shaded portions of these circles? Of course, yes. We see that the shaded portions of these circles are same. It means the fractions represented by these shaded portions are equal. Thus, 1 upon 2 is equal to 2 upon 4 is equal to 3 upon 6 is equal to 4 upon 8 is equal to 5 upon 10 and we call 1 upon 2, 2 upon 4, 3 upon 6, 4 upon 8 and 5 upon 10 as equivalent fractions. When we multiply the numerator and denominator of 1 upon 2 by 2, we get 2 upon 4. When we multiply the numerator and denominator of 1 upon 2 by 3, we get 3 upon 6. Similarly, when we multiply the numerator and denominator of 1 upon 2 by 4 and 5, we get 4 upon 8 and 5 upon 10 respectively. Thus, 
if we multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number, we get the equivalent fractions. In the same way, if we divide the numerator and denominator of a fraction by the same number, we get an equivalent fraction. For example, if we divide the numerator and denominator of 5 upon 10 by 5, we get 1 upon 2. So 5 upon 10 and 1 upon 2 are equivalent. Thus, when the numerator and denominator of a fraction are either multiplied or divided by the same number, we get an equivalent fraction. If you are given two fractions, how will you check whether they are equivalent or not? To check whether two fractions are equivalent or not, we multiply the numerator of first fraction with the denominator of the second. Next, we multiply the denominator of first fraction with the numerator of the second. If the two products obtained above are equal, it means they are equivalent, otherwise they are not equivalent. Consider the fractions 3 upon 7 and 9 upon 21. The product of 3 and 21 is 63. The product of 7 and 9 is also 63. So 3 upon 7 and 9 upon 21 are equivalent. Again consider 4 upon 9 and 20 upon 44. The product of 4 and 44 is 176. The product of 9 and 20 is 180. So 4 upon 9 and 20 upon 44 are not equivalent. A fraction is said to be in its lowest terms or in the simplest form if its numerator and denominator do not have any common factor other than 1. Consider the fraction 8 upon 15. All the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, 8. All the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, 15. 8 and 15 have no common factor other than 1. So this means 8 upon 15 is in its simplest form. Consider the fraction 6 upon 34. All the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. All the factors of 34 are 1, 2, 17, and 34. Common factors of 6 and 34 are 1 and 2. Hence, 6 upon 34 is not in its simplest form. If a fraction is not in its lowest terms, we can reduce it to its lowest terms. To do so, we divide the numerator and denominator by the common factors till no more common factors are left. Let us reduce 15 upon 90 to its lowest terms. We divide the numerator 15 and the denominator 90 step by step by their common factors 3 and 5. So 1 upon 6 
is the simplest form of 15 upon 90. Fractions having the same denominator are like fractions. Fractions having different denominators are called unlike fractions. 4 upon 7, 2 upon 7, 1 upon 7 and 5 upon 7 are like fractions because each one has the same denominator 7. 2 upon 5, 4 upon 7, 3 upon 11 and 1 upon 2 are unlike fractions because these have different denominators. Let us discuss how to compare like fractions. Observe these two equal squares. Each has been divided into four equal parts. The shaded part of its first square represents 1 upon 4 and the shaded part of second square represents 3 upon 4. We see that the shaded portion of first square is smaller than that of the second square. So 1 upon 4 is less than 3 upon 4 or 3 upon 4 is greater than 1 upon 4. Thus out of the two like fractions, the fraction having greater numerator will be greater. For example, 8 upon 15 is greater than 4 upon 15 because 8 is greater than 4.